for BDD to take that lane, so we get a carry top lane as well. Fiora and Irelli have for BDD and Khan, and down the bug lane. Of course, he actually survived 1v3 dives against Fnatic just a couple days earlier. Uh oh. All of the Forge Guard comes out, will not find a stun, but Xiaohu motors in. First blood picked up by RNG. So we talked about how King Tower, Uzi, by the way, may be able to take the first tower, not done yet. Oh, the stun manages to connect from BDD, throws up the Vanguard, dashes through with the blade search, flashes to safety, BDD. Let's have to find a solo. And a number of RNG pings Let's go, on the, of the map. Come on, Uzi just steps forward, <laughs> finally takes the tower down. But is there enough control elsewhere on the map? Master's now looking for BDD, manages to Ooh. throw out that ultimate. Everything we wanted. We wanted the bot lane to run. We wanted him to get Infernal Drake. Took a little longer than we expected. Meanwhile, top lane, Peanut, he can now tower dive. Remember, there's no ultimate from Let Me. He just used it. The volcanic rupture comes up as the first Drake is secured. Whoa! Here comes Shaohu! I didn't see him coming in. But is it just another slam to the slaughter? Peanut is tanking up, takes a couple extra tower shots, manages to survive one last one. King Zone get two, but will they get out? Castle Lightning and First Dragon, and look how much damage they've done to that mid outer. Yeah, it's so huge for King Zone that RNG was so slow when it came to killing that bot lane. Trigger resolve safe, aka fixed. Oh, that's definitely what I'm hoping for. BDD finds himself under some pressure as four members of RNG look to run him down. First kill of the finals to Uzi. So jumped off the 1 3 1. Khan manages to take a charge to the face from Let Me's really using that Ravenous Hydra, pushing this wave as hard and as fast as possible. There's a tower trade scenario on the cards. And this is kind of the force that we were talking about before possible from RNG. So you see King Zone, they see the extra Then terror. Uzi can actually kill them, because they're going to be fairly squishy, but they have a lot of upfront damage. Yeah, one thing I definitely like doing as well, when you're facing... You have to always watch the rest of the map. Last time, there was nothing happening elsewhere for King Zone. So yes, as Officio said, the death was fairly free, but if you look at the map this time, while Khan is delaying them, Aurelia's at a turret. So Kings on this time around, they have multiple points of pressure, and the balance is taking its toll. Look at the team game, Kobe. Kings ah, on ah. pushing top and middle, managing to get interrupted, face planting from Xiao Hu. Ball of the Forge Guard comes down, and the Braum Shield interrupts it. First target's going to be Corella. Look at Prey, BDD, and Peanut now running for their lives. Glacial Prison will slow it down. Royal never give up as Uzi Arcane ships over the wall. Oh, they want more. And that's a pass as well. have determined that we will play on. And by the way, BDD dashed through everything. Use that ultimate to escape. The pressure's not done yet because Casa is looking to jump in, looking for a stun with the help of that fracture. Now it continues to chase forward. BDD and hammering. Teleport's coming in. First victims fall on both sides as Prey drops immediately after. Khan completes a teleport only to find himself in the face of four RNG members. He falls thereafter. Peanut is the next target. RNG on tower diving, and they get four. And the tanks here. And look at the tower aggro. Never mind. Let's look at the dragon pit. Luckily, we got to see that fight on a broadcast. Prey has no flash available. Kings are not trapped. And Uzi gets a double kill. 5-0-3. Blast code has already been dealt with. Bing is trying to run interference here on the Janna, and now they turn up BDD. Oh, man, BDD gets a lot of dashes before yet another kill lands in Uzi's coffers. You know, it's on the other side of the wall here. Should not have vision in the Baron pit. Bing will just try and hurricane him. They get the Baron here. Take some time with the tank, but they got it. RNG in full control. Now they need to answer the split. King's on down towards their base. The split pushers can't do anything. They're forced to fight their way out. Okay, on the flip side, King Zone, slightly lower, slightly less effective in that place, but with Baron, RNG, they've got themselves a tower already. Look at the minimap. Prey's foot pushing at the moment on this Caitlyn here. He's not here to defend, but King Zone have no wave clear. RNG are pushing straight foot in there. How deep are they going to go? We saw Evos make this mistake of pushing straight into the base. Impales there as well. Prey, no flash available to him. He better he's right making now. Mid range. Casa steps into place, brings him back with the impale. And despite the searing charge not finding the target, Prey gets run down. King Zone are behind 7,000 gold. Down on the side of Prey means that they can always flash in and grab him with Casa. They can be more and more reckless with their dives now, too, because they are such rich men and they have so many tanks with hard CC that they can just tower dive and force it. Let's see what King Zone can do, of course. 
Aurelia does exceptionally well into all of these shield users. And nearly every single champion on the side of RNG has a shield available to them. But will he get enough time? Frey takes a mystic shot to the face and is chunked down. Inhibitor number two falls and Kingzone barreling down. Correction, banner empowered minion. Arm buff has worn off. They've got supers in the top and the middle. And look at Uzi, he goes over the wall only to flash back out. All of the traps are already dealt with, and RNG are not giving King's own a chance. That edge comes bound. There's a bit of disarmament, but simply not enough. A multi-man stun from PDD's bought some time, but nobody has even touched. RNG are destroying, dismantling, deconstructing King's own. And as King's own run for their lives, Uzi goes godlike, takes down the inhibitor turret, and turns his attention to the Nexus turret. And RNG! will be able to take first Nexus in this series. RNG are destroying King Zone's base. There is nothing left standing as Khan and Prey run for their lives. Some fan service to the LPL and to China, trying to pick up kills inside the fountain. Not gonna do it just yet. The Nexus will fall, and RNG are 1-0 up. Perfect start for RNG. They select blue side, they first pick Ezreal for Uzi. 